it's Mr. Red White. Zach, you know what you have to do here. Yeah, no, I I'm, wonder if I can find the footage I used last time so I don't have to do the edit again. M Mr. Grossberg! Ah, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding! I can't believe you're not! My, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what's happened, hmm? It's Mr. Edgeworth. He... he... I see. Felonious yeeting, hmm? <laughs> Mysterious <laughs> offense. <laughs> So, Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. It's only a dream. Only a dream. I wonder. <laughs> that, that just gave me Harry, the first Harry Potter, the Olive Andrews, like, I oh, wonder. Yeah. <laughs> the wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. <laughs> what? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also, consider this. Shadow Nobby says the client chooses the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep, he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise... That Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagine. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired and the deed was done. No! I don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. The courtroom lost a great PP wrangler that day. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. But why were the statute of limitations running stop him from getting his revenge? Yeah, it doesn't really... Because he wants him declared guilty for the murder. Um, but he that's... wouldn't be declared guilty of the DL6 murder. He'd be declared guilty of the freaking Hammond murder. Of the felonious yeeting. <laughs> Statu as far as I can tell, the statute of limitations issue is mostly irrelevant to why this, this revenge plot. Listen, it gives it a time limit that's really dramatic, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Gregory Edgeworth. Greggy Edgy. <laughs> Greggy Edgy, that's really good. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have had one peer, now that I think about it. Me! <laughs> Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edgeworth is very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Ford's testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result? He has a perfect win record at court. To meet him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost. And died in despair, as it were. I see. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. Who I totally didn't sell out. <laughs> I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me 
was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone calls her a fraud. That's right, she was a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his post-death testimony? <laughs> <laughs> that Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. Okay. Uh... Do we have something to give to him? Or are we just... I don't really think... I don't feel like we were just here to get information. I mean, we can always show yeah. him a letter from the face because that's. No, uh, we can show or... him. We can show him like the DL6 case file and see if he has anything to say about that. But sure. I don't know if that would actually do anything. This incident took place 15 years ago today, tomorrow. Shit, you're out of time. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we'll see the completion of not one, but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitations. However, I'm afraid the damage the DL6 incident has done will never be eased. The chance saying present the letter? Why not? Oh uh ho! -huh. So this is the letter. How, what do you mean, this is the letter? You, you don't know yeah, about do this. We, do we even tell him about the letter? <laughs> yeah, because we talked about the revenge. On uh, the there, yeah, there was like a flashback moment. Or like a... Oh, yeah? <laughs> it does seem this that is the Yogi letter I gave to Yogi. Letter. <laughs> Damn it. Got me again, <laughs> didn't you, Pete? <laughs> 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 it does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Also, it, it blows my mind that, one, this letter would be hand-fucking-written. Yeah. <laughs> and like, two, type out your damn murder letter. And two... That fucking Yanni Yogi wouldn't burn it after reading it. <laughs> fucking rookie mistakes. Both man. very good points. Uh, the There's a reason ransom letters use uh, cut up newspapers. Right. The chat is saying we should convict Miles Edgeworth of writing his own plot to get to convict himself of murder. Do it. Miles Edgeworth? <laughs> what? Why in heavens would he write something like this? Why, this letter is an attempt to destroy Miles. 
Think before you speak, Greenhorn. Uh-oh. He's angry. I'm going to have to penalize you for that. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Think again. Do you have any idea who wrote this? Oh, I mean, of those Come three on. options. <laughs> if it wasn't Miles, and it wasn't Yanni Yogi... Well, how do we know it wasn't Yanni? He could have wrote it to himself. Is... No! <laughs> it was Polly, the bird. Ah, kill them all. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hmm. Could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Even even Grossman's like, wait, is it? Because he's a giant dick. I don't know. Um. Well, I'm not sure. It was the only other option in the multiple choice problem. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that was a weird bit. Hmm. Von Karma. Von Karma. Where have I heard that name before? <laughs> Wait. You're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but that means... The, the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Satan. <laughs> because he is the mastermind of all evil. That's why he sent Polly to help convince <laughs> Yanni His, to do it. That's why he sent the Antichrist, Polly, to help. <laughs> One of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the four parrots of the apocalypse. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. That's very good. Correct. Manfred von Karma himself. Famine and Polly. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean then? Why would von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Probably because he's a dick. <laughs> if it truly was von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. <sighs> He'll say as much tomorrow at court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But but how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. That I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. Not enough to use a fucking typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? I mean, he may be trying to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. That's damn self-explanatory, yeah. Greenhorn. Yeah. Greenhorn! It was, it was 15 years ago. You probably haven't heard of it, but it was the DL6 incident. <laughs> <laughs> Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win, but he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. The attempt on my life has <laughs> left me scarred. <laughs> the attempt on my life has left me scarred. Uh, Lizard in the chat says, On a scale of 1 to 10, how in contempt are you if you accuse the prosecutor of murder in the middle of a trial? <laughs> Probably not a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> What if he totally did it? Well, then after this trial's over, you should uh, you should ask to start a new trial and prosecute against him. <laughs> Only one defendant per trial. Well, not really. But... <laughs> what happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. 
And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? Yes, it's evidence that's not good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do I have to tell you people everything? <laughs> it was the only penalty Von Carver has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. <laughs> it must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. What a little bitch! Uh, vacation? Like, Hawaii? Uh... Now, I'm, now I'm just imagining Von Karma in a swimsuit. God damn it, why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Is that why he acts like he has a stick up his ass? Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or to the mountains? <laughs> the mountains. Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. Also, have you been to Europe? Also, those aren't strange yeah, ideas. Yeah, those aren't strange. Vacations. Yeah, I think... The like, mountains in Europe are all vacation places that I, I've gone to, actually. Yeah. <laughs> They're all quite normal, Phoenix. What's your idea of a vacation? <laughs> also, you know, he's... going to the fire station and asking the fireman to hose me down. Also, there's... <laughs> Also, the chat's pointing out, uh, Von Karma is German, so I'm sure he's been to fucking Europe, Maya. <laughs> he lives in Europe. <laughs> he goes uh, to Oktoberfest every year. Also, <laughs> Quiet Fangirl says, go fuck yourself, Wes. I'm not drawing Von Karma in a swimsuit. <laughs> you know what? I think I already got you. Hook, line, <laughs> hook, line, and stinker. God fucking damn it. The seed's been planted in your mind. <laughs> It'll never go away till it's been formed on oh, paper. God damn it. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep it a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What? What did he do, Nick? What? Yeah, apparently is... taking vacations is bad for your record. I don't fucking know. Okay, fine, Nick. This will go on your permanent <laughs> record. <laughs> Von Karma is going to bring up DL6. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this. But even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. Well, I... no. <laughs> well, accidental I... homicide is still homicide, but it's generally called manslaughter. Yes, uh... Also, Edgeworth was nine. <laughs> so... He was nine. They're gonna, they're gonna send him to juvenile hall. As a 24 year old man. Yep. <laughs> who looks like a 42 like, year old man. If Von Karma's ultimate plan is to get Edgeworth guilty for the DL6 thing, then that's a really dumb plan because, I'm gonna emphasize this again, Edgeworth was nine. Also, <laughs> if you could get, also if they could get Yanni off for the temporary insanity, that's also going to work for oh, Edgeworth. Yeah. Oh, God. That's a they, good point. They That's have a very good defense. point. Also, Edgeworth threw a gun that actually misfired. So he wasn't even an end. He believed his dad was being attacked. Right. So, like, <laughs> I could actually find Edgeworth not guilty in, like, seven different ways. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uber says, I committed manslaughter at nine years old. Sounds a lot less bad than I committed murder. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he'd kill someone. Once but again, I can't believe it's he not did butter. it. <laughs> but, but Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. 
His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. Check what? <laughs> uh, the police okay. files might hold something of interest. No, I have those. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something is slim. Unlike me. I understand. The police materials. Hmm. All right. Oh boy. It's the scene. <laughs> oh, wrong place. Is it? Is it time? I think it is time. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Ah, oh, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. You already told us this. Oh, shoot. I can't remember. <laughs> He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. It's not really, I'm, I guess that is a phrase. It's just a weird phrase. I used to say pounding um, the pavement a lot. We were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, now... I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma's in there now anyway. <laughs> you can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived actually. Von Karma's in the records room. Nick, let's hurry. We can kill him and make it look like an accident. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Fucking assholes. We can, we can shove him into an elevator and then shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> right, is, this the, is this the part where the game turns actually into like a mic, into like a punch out type game and you have to fight Von Karma for the record? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Dusty as always. Maya, you've been to here once. Don't act like this is a place you've been to a ton of times to make that <laughs> statement. We were only just here yesterday. I'm sure they haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Well, that looks suspicious, so I'm going to click on it. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says, Unsolved Cases Evidence. Wow, it all fits into this <laughs> one so drawer. Vague. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Unsolved Cases. Unsolved all the mysteries. evidence of unsolved cases, we just shove in a drawer together. <laughs> <laughs> we don't separate Nick. them by cold case, we just shove them all in a drawer. <laughs> How do you why do you think they, they don't get solved? <laughs> The file for DL6, it's completely empty. What? What are you doing in here? Ah! Von we've had, Karma. We've never, actually, we've, ever, we've never actually seen his knock on the prosecutor bench, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he doesn't have many like straight on sprites, but. Yeah, this one actually, for some reason, looks really unnerving. Mm -hmm. You. How do you know my name? Uh, wh what? what? <laughs> huh? Have we met? Do you have cataracts? Wait. What? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? I mean, for two days running now. <laughs> <laughs> we are Miles Edgeworth Defense Team. Defense Team. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. God, I fucking hate them so much. They are like bugs to me. Needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Uh, 
Um, Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. He's 24, Just to like be his fair. father. Yeah. Everybody knows, <laughs> once you hit 24, you're like, you, you never change again. That's, that's yeah. the person you are for the rest of your life. He peaked at age nine. <laughs> when he shot his father. <laughs> Back when he was killing people. <laughs> Back when I killed his father. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Got me again. You're a crafty one, right? <laughs> Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Von Karma, you had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect record? Hmm. So you did. But what I don't get is, why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Uh, really quick, the chat is telling me to show the badge to him. Oh. oh. I have to go back to present. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Fool. You think I, a prosecutor, would give you a defense attorney information? Ha! <laughs> Creep. <laughs> uh, the chat's saying show everything. I'm not gonna show. Wait, we're not gonna show him everything. Show him the metal detector, though. Okay. He needs to see that. That's a reasonable thing. Yeah, I think right. it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Sh the only, I show him, show him the parrot. No, I actually show him the gun and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that suggestion. Okay, everything's, ah, dang it. everything's the same. What do yeah, I show him? This. You let, us, you, you let it. You let us astray. There we go, Mr. Von Karma. Have a look at this. Yes, I wrote that. Shit. <laughs> this was you, <laughs> wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? Nowadays, I just call him Uncle. <laughs> He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Oh, okay, he did. So you admit it. You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter. Yes, my dear defense attorney. Maya's not the defense. You and your big, <laughs> spiky-haired friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? Nick, what is that thing? A stun gun. <laughs> For self defense, <laughs> usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000. Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. <laughs> Punchman says, it's a stapler. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, what is his fucking face right now? His evil face. Yeah. Now, give me the letter. Or what? You're going to stun gun me in the records room of a police station. Which, I mean, come on, it fucking has to have a security camera, is, right? Is this your strategy, Von Karma? You are going to threaten... First off, there are two of us. So, one of us is going to get out of here before you can stun both of us. Two, yeah. we are at a fucking police station. Yeah, yeah. No. What is your fucking plan here? <clears throat> oh. No! Sorry, that, that what, happened What are fast. you? Nick, run! Ah! Did you just fucking shock my friend, assistant? Oh my uh -huh. god, he killed Maya? 
Maya! Out of my way! That was my getting electrocuted sound. <laughs> Shadow Navi says, You died. <laughs> I just want to put the the, you, dark. The, uh, you, the dark souls. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he got us. The letters gone, of course. And he took the DL six evidence, all of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first, and Han Solo shot first, which means Maya is the is the killer in the DL six incident. <laughs> Well, the good news is uh, Von Karma's was not going to be a prosecutor tomorrow. He's going to be arrested for tasering you. <laughs> Maya, is she okay? Ma Maya, Mama Maya, Maya, open your eyes, Maya. letter did he take it huh oh yeah are you okay i i couldn't stop him i mean honestly if phoenix would have ran and just left you behind you probably would have got away yeah also, why you leave me behind did anyone hear us did, did anyone hear us <laughs> scream or did, did anyone come to check on us or it's Remember, just... nobody's in the police station because they're all look. Every single police officer is looking for Yanni Yogi right now. What about it's... generically named police who told us Von Karma was here in the first place? He yeah, there. he he was listening to the radio with his headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. I mean, just well, be you're fair. not a lawyer. Again, well, you're, not you're, a lawyer. you're not a lawyer. And you, you are a medium, but you're also 17. I don't really know what age mediums are supposed to hit their peak by, but I feel like you got some time. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pridge, that actually makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> not even now when we need to, when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Oh my god, that was so dark. Maya! Was really dark. Uh, there has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Huh? Maya, she's holding something. I've set you up for an appointment with a therapist. <laughs> what is that? A, a bullet? DL6 incident, evidence number seven, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth? I remember. <laughs> I remember now. It just happened. Can we get another flashback to that? Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. Yeah, we got the bullet. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. At least not entirely. Most of the time. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. Maya, I'll see you in court. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Well, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the game's just going to let Von Karma fucking taser us and get away. Like, that's a thing that makes sense. That's going to do it for another week of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Thank you again so much for watching. A reminder that you can catch the show live on our Twitch at twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But if not, no worries. It'll go up the very next week on Monday and Tuesday on our YouTube channel, which is also Save Data Team. But until next time, I plead the fifth. Bye-bye.